you also talk about going to the West Virginia Penitentiary. Was uh was that a another hair raising experience? Or was it... <laughs> yeah, the first time I went there was actually when we filmed uh, the Travel Channel show Paranormal Challenge with Zach Bagan. So that was the first time I ever been, visited the penitentiary, um, and we had lots of experiences there. Since then, I've been back. Uh, I think five or six times to do the private investigations, the overnight investigations. And I've had some crazy experiences there. The one that always sticks out that I like to tell people about, we were in one of the isolation cells where they kept the worst of the worst. And we were doing a little, uh, not provoking, but an antagonizing, I guess you could say. Um, and all of the tiers, there's four tiers, the three tiers above us were completely locked off. So you physically could not get up there. Well, the door, jail cell door above us slammed so hard that we felt our cell shake that we were sitting in. And uh, we caught an EVP right before that that said they're down here. So that whole sequence of events, I mean, the timing of everything is it, just undeniable. And we had uh, two uh, people investigating that hadn't been out before. When the door slammed, they tried to run into the cell door at the same time and got stuck. It was like a cartoon. They got stuck in the door at the same time. You went time. through a long list of equipment, <laughs> uh, a lot of stuff. And one thing stuck in my mind uh, that I didn't hear is I didn't hear you mention anything about a Ouija board. Um, is there a reason that you don't use a Ouija board? We have multiple Ouija boards. I Do you? Oh, wow. off, the, off the dome, yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we don't use them all the time. It's very specific to the location. Some locations are very, very hesitant to have something like that used there. Other locations are super open to it. And it just depends on what we're doing. We featured it a little bit. Um, or we haven't featured it yet on the, the web series. We've used it some on our investigations. Uh, but we will eventually feature it on the web series. Uh, I haven't honestly had a ton of, of great evidence from the Ouija board. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll only use it with people that I absolutely trust 100%. Uh, like I said, like my girlfriend, Vanessa, in the group, or our uh, equipment tech, Scott, who's in the group. Somebody like that, that I for sure trust um, to know that they're not messing with me or trying to, to skew things. Um, I grew up, grew up hearing never, ever, ever touch a Ouija board in your entire life. And I, I understand that. I've heard some horror stories from other people. Mm -hmm. I've used it on many occasions and never had anything bad happen to me. Good I think it's just like anything else. If you're putting yourself out there and you're opening yourself up to interaction, it doesn't matter whether you're using a voice recorder or a, a Ouija board. If you're opening yourself up to it, um, something can happen. So you just got to take the proper precautions uh to make sure that you're uh going to be as safe as possible yeah. you bring up a good point there it's it, it wouldn't be any different than using a voice recorder and just speaking out loud right it's it's all about the intent right and 15 right. years of experience official like with the team you've been all around the country what are some of the the biggest moments like what what's some of the biggest standout stories that you had mm -hmm. I oh, mean, we'll be here for another two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so the, the first experience, I always tell people the first experience I had. Um, so when we first got in, I mentioned.